Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and positive out there. We have some bullish news in regards to Hedera officially partnering up with one of Australia's big four banks, the ANZ, all right, Australian New Zealand Bank. That is bullish as anything. They're actually building a stable coin on Hedera Hashgraph, which is really nice to see. There's some news about Ripple and XRP. I'm going to get into that and some information that has come out under the Freedom of Information Act in the United States, someone has actually acquired this uh, in regards to regulators actually holding crypto assets and it potentially being you know, illegal for them to do so. But I'm going to get into everything. That's on Twitter. So stick around to the end of the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividends, stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It's just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. All right. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Yes, it's the 25th of August today and there is some bad news in relation to world otc again i was using that for over probably a month i had money in there and i'm not able to get it out because i i believe it's actually disappeared um so it's not good news for that um again that's the reason why i said if you know if you're going to do it at your own risk please don't go stupid with anything in that platform guys because it could disappear tomorrow it's still actively trading. I haven't been able to withdraw anything from it. So uh, literally that happened uh, earlier today and uh, I'm still waiting, but I don't think it's going to happen. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, guys. But again, stay away from it. Um, again, don't go putting any more funds into it. I'm not going to link the the place or the website below. So please avoid it at all costs. Anyway, we're moving on, guys. Again, it's high risk, high reward. So it's disappointing, I understand. And I lost around about 7,900 USDT today. So uh, haven't been able to get that out at all. Devastating. Anyway... It is what it is. Move on. We've got bigger things to do here, guys. Community tab. Now, this is the bullish update in relation to Hedera. And again, HBAR for me is definitely an undervalued gem, especially with this news right here. So HBAR, we are excited to announce, right, that Open Zeppelin, and I love the band, by the way, a recognized leader in Web3 security and auditing right here, has integrated its Defender and Contract Services Enabling ANZ Bank in Australia. Uh, obviously the second largest bank to secure its ADC stablecoin on the Hedera network. Bullish as anything, guys. I mean, with as I've said, utility is king. Utility is absolute king. I'm only focused on utility coins. I've mentioned the coins so many times in my video. XRP is one of them. Hedera is one of them. XLM is one of them. We know for a fact that AUDC is being built on Ripple and Stellar. We know that from Novati Group here in Australia. That is bullish as anything. So, awesome stuff right there, guys. Some other stuff in the community tab. Favorite thing to look up on YouTube. Here's mine. Crypto and blockchain, of course. Stocks in the New York Stock Exchange. Dividend stocks. Super yachts. Private jets and watches. Yes, they're my favorite hobby. And uh, 19 hours ago, like this is just madness right here. One year ago, this NFT sold for $2.8 million USD. I don't know what somebody was thinking. Either they're doing something shady. I don't know. But $2.8 million is just madness right there. I can't believe that. Yes, the XRP hoodies. A lot of you have been actually purchasing these. So uh, thank you very much, guys. It's incredible. At the Wall Street Bull um, official.com. Go use the discount code Moon10. You can grab yourself a hoodie. It comes in on new, different colors as well, which is awesome. I have ordered a few more things uh, to show everyone as well. And I will be putting more up on the website. Go grab yourself something there, guys. Moon10 is the 10% discount code. Let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia. 
Again, if you are new to cryptos in Australia, please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. Of course, do your own research with this stuff. All these prices are in Australian dollars, just to clarify. Bitcoin has been holding again around the $30,000 to $31,000 mark. I think this is the actual bottom that we're in at the moment with Bitcoin. Hasn't moved and it's been trading sideways for a very long time. Now, uh, Ethereum sitting at 2,500 today. You got XRP at 51 cents. Cardano's at 68 cents as well. I'm definitely bullish on Cardano. Um, again, Solana's at $53. Dogecoin at 10 cents. Polkadot's $11. You got Matic at $1.22 today. Moving down to some other favorites, you've got Cosmos at $19. Again, I say Cosmos, not Cosmos, whatever you want to call it, Cosmo. Anyway, Chainlink's at $10. Near Protocol, $6.53. Stellar's at 16 cents. Another one that's doing, you know, the AUDC again. It's Utility is king. Facts, BTT 2.24% today, Algorand, another one guys, utility, 45 cents, you've got VeChain, utility, 4 cents as well, EOS, $2.51, let's move down to some other favorites, Mana and Sandbox as well, they're in my portfolio, obviously $1.25 for Mana, Sandbox, $1.57, Hadera sitting at 10 cents today, I'm surprised this is not mooning right now, but I'm sure everyone's going to be talking about it, so the official partnership with ANZ. Utility. I'm going to get into everything with Hedera as well and their governance board, which is mind-blowing. So anyway, Quant, $163 today, down 0.16%. Have been dollar cost averaging into Quant as well, because again, this is a ten dollars to $20,000 asset in, you know, five to 10 years. Long term, I'm thinking here, guys. Theta, $1.87. Aave, $134. Axe Infinity is at $21. I am staking that on CoinSpot, earning around 78% APY, which is crazy. But when you're staking, it doesn't really help when the coin price drops, does it? But anyway, so fingers crossed this gets back up to the levels that I was buying it at, which was $80 a coin. Uh, moving down, Zcash, $102. I am looking into that. IOTA, another banking coin, $0.45. Cents. The Graph, $0.17. Cents. Phantom, $0.46. Cents. Luna Classic, I do hold a small position in that. Waves, of course, $7.58 today. Other favorites of mine, of course, are XDC and Gala right here. XDC sitting at $0.04, cents, an absolute underrated gem, and Gala at $0.08. Cents. Now, let's go into Crypto Bubbles. Actual fact, before we do that, yes, this is my official website. Don't go using other websites. This is actually my website here. Again, I've got some cool stuff here. The uh, Hedera, Hashgraph to the moon right here. The um, NASA logo sweater right there, a jumper, whatever you want to call it. I've got the uh, Hedera here to the moon as well. Heavyweight tees. I've got the ISO 222 tees. The Ripple NASA logo sweatshirt. Again, that is the one I've ordered. So that is going to be awesome. Can't wait for that to arrive. Use the code discount, uh, discount code Moon10. Crypto bubbles right now on the day. Let me just refresh this to see what is happening right here. We've got some green, which is nice. ETC is up 10% on the day to 37 US dollars. All-time high was at $73. So again, that could be in one of interest if you're interested in Ethereum. After all the stuff that Vitalik has said, I'm not really interested, to be quite honest. The only reason why I'd be interested in Ethereum is because of the merge that's happening in September, and there is a potential to make some money based off selling the news, all right? So there's going to be a lot of FOMO into it, and it's going to probably crash down. So that's the re you know, it is what it is. I'm not a fan of it. Gas fees are too high. Meh. Anchor's up 10.9% today, 46% on the month. You've got Adam up, uh, what have we got here, guys? 9.2% and 38% on the month. It's still incredible returns. Uh, other than that, guys, some other coins here are all in the green, but we're still early. I still take this as a dollar cost averaging opportunity. This is what I do. Now, obviously, if you can go here, guys, Hedera, in actual fact, I'm going to go right here, guys. Now, this was an article posted up in March on the 23rd. All right, so ANZ Bank exploring DeFi services for its 8.5 million customers which is nice. So ANZ Banking Group, one of Australia's big four banks, is tapping into the growing demand for decentralized finance, DeFi, via the Hedera Hashgraph text, testnet right here. Speaking as a member of an Australian Blockchain Week panel on DeFi, ANZ's portfolio lead, Nigel Dobson, has say, uh, said his bank was exploring how best to offer DeFi services to its 8.5 million customers. According to Dobson, ANZ was taking a blockchain agnostic approach uh, and had already experimented with minting transactions and burning tokens on the Hedera Hashgraph testnet. Utility is absolute king, guys. Just want to show you, for those of you who have no idea what Hedera is, again, it is Hashgraph technology, guys. It's revolutionary right here. But what gets me is their governance board. Look at this. Is owned 
and governed by the world's leading organizations, all right? What do we got here, guys? Avery Dennison right here. You've got Boeing. It's a no-brainer. I believe that's Chainlink Labs. Yes, you've got DBS as well. What else have we got here, guys? It's massive. It's absolutely massive. You've got Tata right here, the communications. You've got DLL Piper as well. What else have we got here, guys? LG. Everyone knows who LG are. IBM. It's as bullish as anything, guys. What else have we got here, guys? You've got Deutsche Telekom. What else have we got here, guys? EDF as well. You've got G. Google. No-brainer. It is owned by them. See what I'm talking about? Follow utility. This is where the money's going, guys. Anyway, bullish news about that, guys. So keep an eye on that. Now, we're going to go to some Ripple news. Ripple continues overseas expansion with Tranglo in the United Arab Emirates right here, the UAE. So this is bullish as anything right here. And I'm sorry about these pop-ups. It's so annoying. So crypto technology giant. Ripple partnered with global payments firm Tranglo to expand Ripple's on-demand liquidity solution to the United Arab Emirates. Uh, days after shaking hands with Latin American bank Travelex right here to do the same for Brazil. Just doesn't stop with Ripple, man. They're unstoppable, even though this stupid SEC lawsuit's going on. Bullish. Tranglo's official Twitter account announced the new initiative by posting a tweet on August 24th. The UAE is the second largest economy in the Arab Gulf region and hosts some of the world's largest senders and receivers. Of course it does. Ripple hopes to handle the massive cross-border payment traffic in the area by spreading its ODL solution over the UAE with the help of Tranglo. Just another partnership, guys. Follow the money. That's all I'm saying. Binance calls XRP Ledger first major blockchain to be certifiably carbon neutral. We all know this is coming, ladies and gentlemen. I just saw a tweet, by the way, in California in the year 2030, 2035. Fuel, petrol cars are going to become illegal to buy. New, new petrol cars are going to become illegal to sell. Is that true? For those of you in California right now, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. So the education arm of the world's largest crypto exchange by trading volume has a lot of nice things to say about decentralized public blockchain XRPL and its native token XRP. The XRP ledger was created in 2012 by David Schwartz, by the way, who's been going to town on uh, Twitter as well uh, in relation to BitBoy. There's so much going on, man. It's unbelievable. Jed McCaleb and Arthur Brito right here on 27th of Feb 2020 during an episode of Ripple Drop. Ripple's web video series, Ripple CTO David Schwartz spoke with the producer and editor, blah, blah, blah. Kate started an interview by asking Schwartz how the XRP ledger started with and its current status. Schwartz replied, well, I started working on what we now call the XRP ledger at the end of 2011. So it's been this for eight to nine years, but the changes have been drastic. I mean, in the early days, all we had was the ability to perform a transaction on a decentralized ledger in just a couple of seconds. And then we started to realize that the properties of the algorithms that we developed allowed us to do things like a decentralized exchange. And then we had this idea of allowing people to issue assets and ideas like a community credit. Uh, and we put all that together to, into a functional system probably in mid-2012. So it's an old project. It is fully carbon neutral, all right? No one's going to be, be able to use anything that's carbon, you know, negative or whatever it is, guys. So we're keeping the world green. Anyway, Ethereum merge confirmed for September. So the Ethereum Foundation has published finalized details on the status of the merge expected next month. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about that, guys, because it's not going to do anything in relation to the gas prices. Check this out. SEC Chair Gary Gensler singles out crypto lenders, says platforms do not comply with regulations. Gensler, lizard man, the chairman and U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission thinks crypto lending platforms are non, not complying with the country's financial regulations. Gensler says a new editorial on the Wall Street Journal that crypto shouldn't be treated differently than the rest of the capital markets just because it uses different technology. Dude, go away. Move out of the way, man. Let the other people handle it there at the CFTC, all right? Commodities, future trading. Get away, man. You're just destroying the industry over there in the United States. So this is an interesting statistic. Over 60% of US parents say schools should teach crypto. Poll finds, guys. Look at this right now. 60% of parents want their kids to learn about crypto. What do you think my daughter's going to be doing? She's going to be learning about cryptocurrencies. That is for sure, guys. And that's, a, you know, and really, I think they need to do that. 
because this is the future right here. Now, some other stuff here, guys. Aussie's set for crypto world first in major audit of this sector right here in relation to crypto. From Bitcoin to Dogecoin, the federal government here in Australia has announced a world first review in the crypto sector. So Australia will become the first country in the world to token map the crypto asset sector as the government seeks to protect investors amid the on onslaught of advertising. So the federal government has announced it will take a fresh look at regulating this sector in consultation with stakeholders on a framework. Jim Chalmers right here said a review was about allowing consumers to participate in the market while also better protecting them. I'm all for that. But again, it's never going to stop because there's advertising everywhere. Every sporting event now has crypto advertising everywhere, guys. So again, it's just getting started. Anyway, let's go to CryptoMeter.io and see where the money has been flowing, guys. Of course, in the last day, you've got BNB, you've got BTC, ETC as well. Uh, you've got Ethereum, USDC, Atom, EOS, TUSD, L, Lido, Dow, Dot, LTC, and Torn. And of course, XRP, which is really nice to see that there. Anyway, let's go to Twitter to see what is happening here, guys. Yes, this is the website right here. The hoodie that I'm currently wearing, which is again so warm, it's nuts. I've got the XRP mission to the moon, ISO 222 T's. Again, I'm putting up a lot of stuff there, and we'll get into the Hedera video in a second. So, Justin, YouTuber BitBoy Crypto has said he's dropping his defamation lawsuit against Atsi. Atosi, Atsi, is that how you spell it? Say it. Sorry about that, man, if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm not getting involved with that. Um, again, it's been flooding my Twitter feed like crazy. Each to their own, man. I mean, it is what it is, guys. This is what happens on YouTube. I mean, I, you know, we get comments left, right, and center. It's just what it is, guys. It is what it is. Anyway, moving on. Bullish, Hedera. We're excited to announce the on open Zeppelin and recognized leader in Web3 security. There you go right there, guys. ANZ Bank partnering there with the HBAR Foundation. Bullish as anything, guys. Now, some other stuff here, guys. Digital Asset News. Thank you for this tweet. I've already asked this and has been confirmed by Twitter. Folks living in Europe on just how bad electricity costs are going. The real question is, how do you deal with astronomical price of electricity and inflation at 13% going to 18% as predicted? That's insanity right there. That is just... Uh, I don't even know what to make of that. It's the same here in Australia, guys. It's crazy. Quant right here, it's closely aligns with our view and of the need for interoperability of commercial stable coins and digital assets in the metaverse to achieve its full potential. I am very bullish on Quant, as everyone knows. I absolutely love the project, doing what they're doing with governments, CBDCs, banks, trade finance. It's a no-brainer, all right? Utility is absolutely king. James Rule XRP, thank you for this as well. It amazes me how many people in the world have never heard of XRP. Elite status incoming right here, guys. And again, this is facts, all right? So these are the accounts if you're holding XRP. 428 accounts currently are in the 0.01%, which is unbelievable, guys. And again, if you're holding 2,448 XRP, you are currently in the 10%, guys, top 10%, which is insane. If you're holding 9,400 XRP, you're going to be in the top 5% and so on and so on. Not that many because a lot of people don't currently know and can't even buy XRP, especially in the United States. Around the world, yes, but not in the United States because of Gensler. It's no one else's fault. California to ban the sale of new gasoline cars by 2035. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. That's insane. Now, this is what I want to show you guys. So thank you... Um, Ammoni Cryptonaut right here. This is awesome. I received the response from my Freedom of Information Act request, uh, ABT, the conflict of interest guidance at the SEC. This memo is from Jan 8th, 2018. Guys, check this out. Do you own crypto assets? Think about the ethics conflicts right here. So the criminal financial conflict statute right here, guys, look at this. Federal employees from working on any particular matter that can be said to have a direct or predictable effect on, uh, what do we got here, guys? The employee's financial interests. For example, barring any applicable exceptions, an employee cannot own stock uh, in ABC Corp and also work on the enforcement investigations of ABC Corp, nor can an employee work on a rulemaking on uh, another board policy matter that affects the 
uh, discrete and identifiable group of entities that include ABC Corp. If no exceptions, crypto assets are covered by this financial conflict statute the same way any other asset is covered which is really interesting so these products right here sorry guys i'm reading this now and markets are evolving and there are numerous distinct types of crypto assets this and the analysis regarding whether a particular matter impacting one type of crypto asset will affect another type of crypto asset must be done on a case by case basis it is possible that an sec enforcement matter concerning the issuer of one crypto asset for uh, obviously an example could have been ripple effects on other crypto right now and assets right here so basically it's just unbelievable guys i mean how does this settle in jeremy hogan right here guys what are the chances right here 2018 ethics memo warns sec staff that enforcement actions on one crypto token could have a ripple effect on other tokens and therefore they could be violating conflict of interest laws if they own the benefited tokens ethereum anyway just saying the sec allows you to buy doge at the grocery store but xrp is too dangerous hold your xrp tight these people are not honest right now bitcoin kiosk vendor coin me is now selling ethereum matic and doge and more than 10,000 grocery stores i believe that's in the united states that's unbelievable fun fact ethereum's final upgrade before the merge of proof of stake is scheduled for september 6th which is ahead of schedule David Schwartz, so about BitBoy Crypto, Atsy lawsuit, it looks like everyone is doing the right thing now. And as I suspected, it seems Ben was misled by the lawyers who definitely should have known better. Yay for happy endings. I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, obviously lawyers just want to make this. I know this for a fact. Anyway, just after the money. Uh, Stefan Huber, thank you for this one. The SEC will drag the Hinman drafts into the international court of human rights in the uh, Hague right here. Citizen Hinman is suffering from severe trauma. Of you can see trauma since Judge Netburn's cruel ruling violated uh, his civil rights. So Citizen Hinman now. Uh, moving on, guys. Bank of America ripple story from Joe Endoso, CEO of Link2 case closed. Go and have a read of this, guys. It's very long. I don't want to keep this video too long. Ripple again, bullish as anything, guys. From sending CBDCs to authorized accounts to security destroying currency, our solution can help central banks manage the entire life cycle. With secure blockchain innovation and sustainable economy is on the horizon. That's facts. An update from James K. Filan. The SEC has filed a request to file a one. A big reply up to 90 pages in length in further support of its motion to exclude the testimony of defendants expert witnesses they really do not want anything coming out guys they really don't anyway let's go to coin market cap again the market's sitting at 1.04 trillion right here 1045 trillion 65 billion dollars in volume 39 percent btc 19 percent ethereum and again, 20,700 cryptocurrencies, 99% of them are actually useless, all right? Again, my only coins I'm looking at right now because this is where the money is flowing, straight up. XRP, 34 cents. Stella, 11 cents. Algorand, Hedera's at 6 cents. 6 cents. Quant, 110 US dollars. IOTA, 30 cents. XDC's at 3 cents. And of course, Alliance Block, partnered with Hedera and Quant, just one for the portfolio. Anyway. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for sticking around this long in the video. Let's talk in the comments and the community tab. Stay safe. Make sure you follow me on the official usernames right here. Again, everything's linked below, all right? Stay safe, guys. Take care. Bye.